we are once again straying from the Let's Go Trophy Hunt series here in the Hunter Classic in favor of doing the Easter missions. There are only a couple days left, and of course, any set of missions with a tree stand as a reward is a set that I want to go and complete. So, we did a fair number of the objectives on last Friday's stream. In fact, there are only three remaining. We need to take a Roosevelt Elk scoring over 310 with a slug. That's what we have the shotgun for. We need a Black Bear over 220 kg, and then we'll have to switch maps for a Red Fox scoring over 22, I think taken with Buckshot. And this is where I tend to get into trouble with missions like this. A Buck grunts, and I just can't not call it in, even though it has nothing to do with the mission. I just had to bring it in. There were a bunch of Cow Elk kind of closing in on us, so glad we could bring this guy down because he's not too bad. Probably in the area of the mid-150s, I would say. Lung and liver. Lucky that we dropped him, but hopefully we can actually find a bull. I walked all the way up almost to this tower. Not a whole lot going on. Actually, I want to head the opposite direction here. And hopefully there's a 310 hanging around here somewhere. I would not have predicted more than 30 minutes to find a single bull elk. And unfortunately, it is not exactly special. Now, because we have the longbow, I think we are going to take him with the 12 gauge slug. I kind of think probably tracking an elk that's maybe single lung shot or something like that is not a good use of our time. We may be able to fast travel already. If not, we can fast travel quite soon. My only guess is that there must be some up north somewhere, if this score would ever calculate. That's a little alarming. I guess it's just not going to. In that case, I'm kind of glad it's not a three, uh, 310 plus, but uh, we'll try to fast travel. Hopefully that's just a random one-off situation. I'm going to be honest, this is pretty rough. We're almost 4,000 meters in and a little over an hour and 15 minutes. And we're looking at two elk about the size of everything else we found. A and just no luck at all. I don't think it's normally this difficult to at least find a big frame elk. We just actually fast traveled. I had an elk bugle, decided to go down and I, I could see from a distance it was by itself. Not very big, fast travel, get a bugle here. I thought we were all good. And yeah, we got that. So we'll get our loadout back set as it should be uh, in case we actually find an elk that's going to help us out. But at least we got to use the 4570 Buffalo. I don't know. Maybe we should kind of head down that way again. It's just, it's difficult. When you're finding elk and just none of them are all that big, I'm not really sure where to go, but we got to have one out here somewhere. Man, I certainly hope this black bear at least will make that 220 kg mark and get one of the objectives crossed off the list. I would not have thought that we could go, you know, basically 6,000 meters and not find a 310 plus Roosevelt elk. Generally speaking, we come out here and we're hunting whitetail most of the time, but we tend to find at least one decent elk just while hunting around and then actively trying to pursue them they seem to be nowhere to be found, but I did make the mistake of not filling my black bear barrel. I thought about it all weekend and then forgot to do it, so hopefully we're not even going to need it. We need right in the middle of that estimate of 200 to 240 to be above 220. I think with his score estimate being 19 to 21, he's got a good shot at it, but bears are interesting. They're not always very uh, consistent with their weight and score. Fingers crossed here, it would really help us if we could just go and focus on the elk from here on out. He is 230 kg, so at least we got that done. Interesting score there, 20.0008. And uh, that is going to be that chunk done. So we can't fast travel again for a bit. I think we're going to try to get down into here and maybe towards the middle of the map and head south. There's got to be a bunch of old elk that we're just not seeing. Maybe a bit of a weird spawn as to where most of the elk are, and of course, we're more than an hour into this hunt. They could be anywhere by now, but best I can figure we should get moving down that way. Well, the good news is, at 320 to 365, that guy is what we're after. The bad news is, he spooks, so because we have to use a shotgun slug, we're going to have to either wait it out till he calms down and call him in, or maybe he'll kind of trot back our way, but... At the very least, we have one that we can kind of pursue now. I mean, it's been over three hours since this all started, so I'm just glad to see one that we can go and get. 
but uh, it might not be as simple as just finding them. I am just so thrilled to see that coming in. I mean, if we were looking for, say, like a 350 elk or something like that, and it was taking this long, I wouldn't be that shocked. But I mean, it's a 310 that we have to get. I can't believe it's been that difficult to actually get one. But with that score estimate, he is guaranteed. Go figure, Kyla's map of the rescue been here for maybe 45 minutes, and we got a 335. I think of the three hours that I mentioned, three plus hours, about two hours and 45 minutes was my own map. And just absolutely no luck whatsoever. But with that objective out of the way, finally, after far longer than I thought we'd be taking to do all the remaining ones, the only thing left is the Red Fox scoring over 22, I believe, with Buckshot. Admittedly, it wasn't as bad as the Elk, but just trying to find any fox track at all that had a chance took quite some time, and then we've been tracking this guy for probably 30 to 40 minutes, but 22 to 29, he actually was a max weight estimate track of 10 to 20 kg, which technically, you know, that could be something really special. Any red fox over 30 is a really good one, and of course his estimate only goes up to 29, so nothing that would be insane, but... We know he's going to be good enough, he actually is 12.1 kg, rather fitting, and a 26.6 score, 98 uh, CSS and 98 GM reward for that, ain't bad. But uh, there was of course one more objective. You had to collect the three different easter eggs in order to do this, and I was seeing throughout the community a lot of people were struggling to find the golden eggs, so in the lead up to this video, I went to White Rhyme Ridge in order to try to find the golden egg and get that out of the way. And what I ended up finding was far better than an egg. Of course it would be on an easter egg hunt. But that is one of the biggest moose I've ever seen. Max weight and score estimate going up to 245. And I brought the 9.3 just in case anything would show up. So we might as well try to take him out there. Even though he is trying to walk away. That felt a little bit lower than I wanted. Might see if we can hit him again. Because if that was a body hit, I don't think that'll bring him down. Too should, if he'd ever just pick a direction. Pretty sure that hit him as well. You know, that that kind of speaks to why I wanted to revive the Let's Go Trophy Hunt series and do it around the Whitetail maps. It's always, you know, a hope that we could find a 200 scoring Whitetail. And my idea is that if we keep on spending time hunting other things, we might run into, you know, something special. These are the times, as we're running out here, you know, looking for Easter eggs, basically, we find a gigantic moose. It was enough to bring him down, luckily. I mean, that looks huge. I mean, the brow tines are almost touching. If we could ever pick him up. There we go. Two body hits. 232.9. That's our second biggest moose ever definitely going to the lodge speaking of the let's go trophy hunting series funny enough our 235 our biggest one ever was in season one or season two of the let's go trophy hunting series and i've left that moose in that lodge all these years it's not in the main lodge this one can actually go in the main lodge and uh go figure on an easter egg hunt that is insane I can't wait to see that in the lodge. We've never got a 230 in the main lodge. A bunch of 220s over the years. And we just come out here to find Easter eggs and find something way, way cooler than that missing golden egg. So perhaps it was fitting that we had such a difficult time finding our elk and red fox when we just went to White Rhyme and ended up getting a moose that I cannot hardly fit in this lodge. I guess that, well, that pose kind of block some of the tines too so we may need to find a new spot for him he is that big but just inside the top 10 on the leaderboard at the moment and all because of an egg hunt go figure it would go that way but that is one of the hardest mission sets we've ever had to do in terms of the amount of time we put in i think it was more difficult than the lunar new year and the lynx fiasco but either way it ended up with a really cool kill our second biggest moose ever and far and away the biggest in this lodge by a full 10 plus inches actually so pretty cool to actually get to add that while doing the missions but anyway that is gonna do it for this video so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time